Hello everyone, I wanted to show you, you um, recording guitars and using um, VST Amp Rack which is the um, amplify, amplifier simulator in Cubase. I wanted to record live guitars but I had a slight problem using voice meter. You couldn't record live guitar and also stream to voice meter which I'm using to record my voice at the moment. But if we go through the steps of setting up for recording guitars um, and then I can show you what I've done. I've got a pre-recorded project here. These, if, oh, I'll perhaps take that off a minute. These are the monitor buttons. This is what you'd use if you were recording guitars. So you'd obviously make an audio track, a mono audio track, arm the track by hitting record. And because if you're plugging your guitar straight into a sound card, you'd use this monitor button. But at the moment I'm getting a lot of feedback because we're going into voice meter, but You'd switch that on and when you play you would actually see a signal here now what you've got to watch as well whatever you've set your sound card so under your sound card settings i'm using an rme card here so here's my voice so i've got phantom power on and then an instrument track here you've got to watch here on a, on just where on the inputs of each one what you're going into so the reason i've got right and right on both of them is because on my sound card it's set as the channel 2 this is my left channel and this is my right so if I'd set it to left it would record obviously my vocal okay so if I just play this is just a, um, a sketch of a track I was doing but what I want to show you is just the two guitar tracks themselves. So to record these I've recorded them both separately so they're two separate guitar lines. If I just expand that out a bit so you can see them. And this is my left channel and right channel so if I go into my mixer you can see here and here they are these guitar and guitar and they're panned hard left and hard right the reason for that is you get a massive stereo image if you do that because they're not directly in time if you actually look at this and if I expand this out just because the way we all play and everyone doesn't do everything like a machine on the beat exactly on the grid you'll get a much better stereo image because you're hearing the, the delay from the two guitars through different headphones or different speakers as you go so and if I just show you through on the mixer here what I've done is just cut out some of the bass end because there's nothing here it's just rumble put a slight boost on the top end around 5k where it's quite a sweet, shot, sweet spot for guitars and again we've just got the high end cut slightly I'm actually using guitar rig there so I'm going to go to no effect because this is what it will sound out with no effects at all so if you were going to record without monitor on this is what you'd hear but we're going to look at something called amp rack and this comes with Cubase so it's under distortion so under our inserts you go to distortion VST amp rack and then once you've switched this on we've got a marshall amp at the moment but we can choose different types of amplifiers so you've got like um probably we use this like a masibuki amp loads of different types of amplifiers and what happens at the moment the cabinet will match to it so this is your speaker section this is your front end and then these are the speakers so you can actually set you could have say a Massey amp with um, a Vox speaker here we've got pre effects so if you imagine um, using pedals in front of your amplifier perhaps an overdrive could be quite cool for this to add a bit of tightness not even necessarily drive just to add some tone to it just can we give it a bit of a boost and so we could bring up the gain for this. Let's just see how that sounds. Okay, I'll just copy that to a different channel as well.
no other things we can mess with here. Microphones. Might be quite nice. This is called, when it's directly in front of the speaker, it's called on access, and then this is off access, but then you've got the two different microphone types, so I quite like um, a Shure SM57, that's quite, a, and this is a condenser microphone, but let's see what it sounds like with the Shure, and perhaps we'll put it on both of these. Oh, sorry, that was one. So, microphones on access. Sounds quite nice not to have exactly the same settings on both because you want to get a more stereo image or so this one's going to be slightly further back so that this is your mic placement how close or far it is so let me maybe let's try the different cabinets have a bit more body if I use the actual match cabinet so let's have a look in the mix oh, sorry it's just out of sync slightly let's take it back So that's VST Amp Rack. It is a very useful tool, actually. Your conf configuration, this shows you your link going across. So there's my pedal in the front, my amplifier, the microphones I chose. Post effects, that's you could possibly want a, um, a reverb or a delay after the amplifier itself. So that's like a So these are your pre effects. So before the amplifier, your amplifier, your cabinet, your post effects afterwards, your microphone. This shows you your, your chain, what they call your chain, or so your pedal before, your amplifier, your, your microphone, and then the master. You can EQ your guitars a bit if you wanted to. You can got a tuner. So this is a chromatic tuner and it comes along the bottom. It's quite a handy little tuner actually, it's quite good. So that comes across. And then you've got a master as well, so you can control your levels. Of course, a lot of this you can do on your individual channel, but some people prefer working in the traditional way of having a pedal view. So it works quite well if you prefer the more traditional pedal view. It can be quite nice just to work in here and you don't have to worry about EQing inside Cubase. Okay, 